It's a wonder this place is still standing. Right there. Easy. Easy. You know I'm not with Trinity. Why should we believe you? I escaped with one of yours. A man named Jacob. Where is he now? We were together, but we got separated in the mines. She killed him! No! No, 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 no! Jacob would never trust an outsider. Please, listen, I am not your enemy. I warned you. You should have left. Sophia! Enough! Father! I thought I lost you. I'm glad you made it out of there. Go give Sophia, she is cautious. In her position, I'd be the same way. What did you find out? Trinity is coming in force. We must prepare. Her? She's a friend. On my word, no harm will come to her. These ruins, they must be near the Prophet's lost city. Come, we do not have much time. Prepare the weapon stores. Secure the battlements. Go, now. They're almost here. But we're outnumbered. The children and elders are vulnerable. Go. Get them into the catacombs. Light the fires. The valley must be alert. Incredible. Sophia, muster our fighters. Then meet me in the upper village. Don't disappear again, Father. There's much to do. We had more time. Later. For now, I'll do what I can to help. down to the old radio. Get the generator working. We need to get one last transmission out and let the other settlements know what's coming. I'll do what I can. You too. I need eyes out across the valley. Head to the cliffs and take watch. 
I want to know the moment you see their helicopters. Yes, of course. If we see anything, we'll sound the horns. Go with God. We must keep them away from the Acropolis Tower, no matter the cost. We'll send the families into the catacombs below. But we have to keep the enemy engaged here, on this side of the valley. Sophia and her warriors have already fought the invaders. She says they're well equipped. Yes, but we know the valley. We use the ruins and the woods to our advantage. I hope to God you're right. They've got helicopters. We should expect them to come from the air. Hmm. The Soviets did as well. So we stay beneath the trees. They can't hit what they can't see. They'll cut us down, no matter where we fight. We know this land better than they ever will. Don't forget that. one more day to prepare but we can drive them out can't we you were there when we drove the Soviets out people need to hear we can do it again I didn't think we could do it then and it took ten years better to say nothing Jacob and his people are resilient. I'll give them that. Trinity is on their way. They could do with my help. And this atlas from the mural, if it really is some kind of map of the ruins, I've got to find it before Anna. If I don't, then all these deaths will have been in vain. And I can't have that on my conscience. How did you find this place? What brought you here? War is coming. We have to prepare. The Soviets left everything when we drove them out. Most of it is just waste, but there's still the odd treasure to be found. Hmm. This vase must have been beautiful once. But someone's poked a few new holes in it and filled it with dirt. They must have used it to grow seedlings. I need more wood for the fire. They needed most of the lumber to repair the guard towers. We'll have to make do with what we have. Well, if they need arrowheads for the battle, then I need more firewood. I've already cut plenty. Besides, I don't know how much more time you'll have left to forge. Hmm. We can make points faster than broadheads. That should be our focus. Not much fuel left in the torch. I think I can get four, maybe five more sheets cut for the barricades. And then we'll have to find more. That's gonna be a problem. I dragged the last of those cylinders out of the Soviet prison a few summers back. After that, you're back to using a hammer and chisel. There's gotta be more. The Soviets left everything behind. We spent two full days combing the old buildings. That's the last of the fuel. Don't worry, you'll like the chisel. It never runs dry.
Hello there. You're Jacob's guest. If you're looking for a way to help, they're repairing the guard towers just down the path. I mean no offense, but you don't look like you're ready for a turn on the anvil. How's the cutting coming? Slow. Gotta be careful. The rust made weak spots. We should have kept the metal dry during the rains. Hmm. We had to use those sheets to patch the roof last year, when we had the floods. Make do with what you can. Jacob said you rescued him from the prison. It was a joint effort. Well, whatever you did, we're grateful. We won't turn away another pair of hands if you can help. But we're not accustomed to visitors. Greetings. Did you bring anything to trade? Anything we could use? There's something buzzing over the valley. You must have seen them. There's a white wolf out there. I've never seen her myself, but I've heard she's only out at night. Another difficult winter for my people. There are more deaths than births now. And as the seasons pass, the young ones are becoming restless. I see them looking to the sky when the rare plane passes overhead. Wistful. Wondering. Longing. I know they are still deeply committed to the cause. But I also sense a change coming. An end to our way of life is on the horizon. The most recent invaders are fading from memory. But as the technology of men advances, more are bound to find our valley again. And we are bound with the fate of this place. For better, or worse. I've never felt such terror. Tonight, the armies of the Mongol horde camp at the edge of the valley, ready to strike at the heart of Katesh. We have the alchemist's fire at ready to set the invaders alight. Every man and woman who can wield a weapon will fight. We will do all we can to support the Athanatoi, but I have never seen bloodshed. None of us mere citizens have. I have never taken a life, and now that I must, I fear for my resolve. Just keep your eyes out. You'll be here at any moment. I'll do what I can. I'll run out of nails before we're done here. We can pull more out of the old cabins. The ones we don't use anymore. Can't the smith oh, forge more? Hell. I just need a few dozen. He's making arrowheads. As many as he can before they arrive. I'd rather run out of nails, wouldn't you? Greetings. I'm sorry I can't help you right now. I need to get this generator fixed so we can send a message to the other settlements. I'll see if I can help elsewhere. Please be careful here. This is the last of the old transmitters that will work, or used to work. 
Fires still rage in the outer districts. The last of the wooden buildings will be consumed by nightfall. The heart of our city is gone, buried beneath the ice. I can take some small solace in the fact that the Mongol invaders were killed, alongside the Prophet's warriors who died to save us. And the Prophet himself? No one has seen him since the morning after the siege ended. <sighs> we need his wisdom. Now more than ever, we do not have enough food to feed those who survived. Some believe the worst is over, but I fear that is not the case. Greetings. We know what to do here. We've been waiting for this. You're not with the invaders. What brought you to this valley? You there. We could use some help if that's what you're here for. I'm here to help. What can I do? We're trying to fortify as many of these towers as we can. Most of them were badly damaged in last year's floods. We've got the repairs in hand, but I need some extra supplies from around the valley. If we can get these towers repaired, it'll give us an advantage over the invaders, and it'll help us reach the upper levels of the ruined towers. Will you help? I'll see what I can round up. Thank you. Bring them back to me when you found them. Do you have the supplies we need? Here you are. This should be everything you asked for. Good, good. Leave some of the supplies in the basket there, and we'll finish the repairs. But I need you to bring the rest of the supplies down to the tower by the lakeshore. When you're done, meet me back here. There's not enough. We have to make do. There has to be more. Send someone to go look. Send who, exactly? Everyone's heading down to the lower village to prepare. I'm telling you, you have to improvise for now. Jacob said they come. We never recovered from the Soviets. And now this. If you want to help, you should head down to the lower village. I know you want to help, but I have to finish here. Armies need food as much as weapons. I'll leave you to it then. I made a mistake today, one that threatens to lead to more mistakes. I spent time alone with Alya, something I have avoided until now. She reminds me of my beloved Sophia, whom I thought I'd long forgotten, and it opens my heart like a wound. She clouds my judgment, even when she is not present. <laughs> I sound like a giddy child. And those days are far behind me. I must bury these old feelings deep and stay apart from my people for a time. I promised to keep them safe. What have I done? We should have been ready for this. We knew better, damn it. I'm sorry, I've got no time to talk. Jacob says you can be trusted, and that's good enough for me. It speaks of something hidden. scoffed at learning your letters, said it had nothing to do with hunting. But that's your first lesson. Everything is connected, and I am always right. You clever students who saw the folly and stubbornness and can read this, here's your first assignment. Track, hunt, and bring me back the pelt of one of the small creatures of the valley. 
Hares you can find anywhere, night or day. Both the little brown ones in our valley and the snow hares in the peaks. The squirrels stick to the trees and rain will drive them into their burrows. And if you see fit to seek the rats, look inside the ruins or anywhere the dead still lie. Please, do not bring me a rat. Here is your lesson for today. Bring me any creature with feathers. The birds in our valley fly mostly by day, nesting away at dark. You've seen gulls and other kinds farther afield. Those common birds would count for today's lesson, but it would lack ambition. You clever students who wish to impress me would do well to head to the high elevations between dawn and dusk. I would find buzzard most impressive. And before you ask, the chickens around our village came here with our ancestors. Bringing me a tame bird from your mother's yard will not fulfill the assignment. The followers of the prophet fled to the east. The journey was difficult.
There's got to be something down there. <sighs> Astonishing. This architecture predates the rise of Eastern Orthodoxy. Buckle. Decorative, but strong and functional. Hmm, it appears to be part of a military uniform. I have left my wife in the care of these physicians. The sickness became exactly what we feared as her skin turned to scales and she lost all feeling in her extremities. They say there is nothing that can be done for her save forgive her relief from the pain and ease her passing. But she must be kept far from the city, far from me. My wife will die, and I will never see her in this world again. I will hurry to the next to meet her. A necklace of incredible detail. Whoever made it, it's the equal of anything found in the Empire.
We are crippled by our isolation. We have with us the combined medical knowledge of the Empire, a millennia of learning that tells us how to treat every ailment. But here, on the edge of the world, the lack of one simple flower leaves us helpless. I cannot do much for the afflicted. I know how, but I cannot because we have hidden ourselves away. These people and many more that follow will die needlessly, all to keep our secret hidden. I pray the Prophet is right when he says that it will be worth it in the end. to be a treatise on the connection between the body and the mind. I'm sorry if Sophia was less than welcoming. I understand. I'm just glad you were there to vouch for me. My people have spent decades fighting outsiders. It's not an easy habit to break. See if you can lend a hand with the preparations. A little hard work would go a long way towards building trust. I'll see what I can do.
You're making great strides, young ones. I almost believe some of you might be passable hunters someday. But here is where we begin to separate the wheat from the chaff. Today, while the sun is up, we stalk deer. Their meat, their skin, antlers, even their bones are what keep us all alive. Respect the deer, for it is as close to God as we are. Find them by their bedding, where the grass is pressed flat, or near berry bushes where they feed. Strike true. Don't let it feel a moment of fear or pain. Remember, I will be judging you, and whoever brings me a stag will be judged most favorably. You'll never find a finer meat than boar. As black as the soil and twice as rich. But hunting the damned things is an unpleasant task, to say the least. Now that the sun is up, we will hunt as a pack, working together to take down a boar. We will strike from the hunting blinds around the valley, for we can spot the boar in the dense undergrowth without being seen. And you do not want to be seen. At least it's not raining. None of you. Not even I want to deal with that cursed Razorback. The day I feared has come. There can be no more denying it. The helicopters we saw last sundown represent a new incursion onto our lands. We have grown up in the shadow of our parents' struggle, and now it seems we will have our own. But the sacred duty must be done. We must protect the source of God's grace on Earth. You there. Maybe you'll be able to help us with these machines. What can I do? These invaders have a new tool to threaten us with. Small helicopters piloted by machine. Drones, they tell me. The things don't fight back, but they've got what looks like a camera inside. They're mapping the valley, and we're losing our advantage. I've been able to bring a few of them down, but with those weapons, I expect you'll have better luck. Will you help? I'll bet I can take a few of them down. The more, the better. Come see me again when they're dealt with.
you dealt with the rest of those machines? I think I got the last of them. That you did. They may send more, but at least we can make it hard on the bastards. We're grateful for your help. They will likely come from the air. Jacob is assembling fighters in the upper village to draw their attention there. The children and those too old to fight will be safely hidden in the Acropolis catacombs. I will go there once things are in hand here. You said they were heavily armed. How can we expect to beat them? The fight will not be won in open combat. They will hit us hard and fast, and we will take losses. They hope to crush us in their initial assault, but we will turn their eagerness into our advantage. This will be a long engagement. If we hope to survive, we must wear them down slowly, strategically. We will bleed them from a hundred cuts until they have nothing left. Only then will we be victorious. For now, we light the fires, warn the others in the valley. Today, we win by surviving. Gather as much ammunition and supplies as you can. Hide them in the caves and ruins. When you've completed your duties, rendezvous in the upper village. Understood? Yes! Understood! Good. Now go. The Prophet be with you. Hello there. Greetings. Greetings. Something I can do for you? I know you're busy. Trinity is going to be here soon. There's much to do. But I want to help. Let me show you that I'm on your side. I'm sorry. This is not an easy time for us. I can see you mean well. But good intentions won't keep you alive out here. These new arrowheads seem blunt. A blunt arrow is better than none. We don't know what armor these invaders wear. I'm not sure these will be enough to cut through. At least we have a few rifles this time. You're the one who came with Jacob. You came here on foot. Impressive. You've seen the mine by the old Soviet facility? Many of our people died there. Jacob trusts you, so that will do. 
Don't worry about us. We've been planning for this. Many of our people worked the mines for the Soviets. Even after we drove them out, they died of a strange sickness. Hello. I hope you know how to use that bow. Whatever you're looking for, we can talk about it after the battle. The Soviets abandoned this place in a hurry, and they left salvage all over the valley. Put it to good use. being here, the people they're hurting, that's down to me. I led them here. God, it's happening again, isn't it? People are suffering because of my actions. No, no, you can't think like this, Lara, or you really will drive yourself crazy. Trinity would have found this place sooner or later. At least I had the chance to help stop them of getting to the Divine Source first and using it to benefit the world rather than cause more pain and suffering. Just need to focus for everyone who's gone before, for everyone I've lost. Just keep moving. visited the lower tower yet. I left the supplies by the other tower. Looks like you finished this one. That we have, thanks to you. This will give us an edge over the invaders. We need all we can get. There's not enough. We have to make do. There has to be more. Send someone to go look.
Not much fuel left in the torch. I think I can get full and do five of them. Let's cut the bed. Lara, I could use your help. Our people are spread thin across the valley. If you light the signal tower, they'll know that the danger is imminent. I'll do what I can. Once the fire is lit, they'll know what to do. Forces here. All right. You're the one that came with Jacob. I have something to ask of you. What can I help you with? Jacob told me you've got a knack for exploring. There are more old places, tombs, all around the valley. You may have seen the wards placed there to frighten children. It's not superstition. 
Those places are dangerous, but they also hold relics of our former glory. Not just trinkets, but knowledge. I believe we need that wisdom now more than ever. A decade ago, I'd have gone myself, but now I could use your skills. The scouts tell me you've already been inside one of the old tombs. Would you share what you've learned with us? Of course. They belong to your people. We don't have much, but I have these old coins. If gold has value to you, I can give you some for every secret you find. The followers of the Prophet fled, but they were attacked in Syria. The physician. The road to Katesh was long and hard. Infirmity, illness, and injury abounded. Aurora was a believer trained in the ways of Hippocrates and the great Roman healers. It is because of her that so many survived the journey to Katesh. It is her legacy that knowledge of healing continues to be passed down among believers.
Hmm. Seems to be a map of some sort, but I can't quite read the words. An iron coin with one side cut and shaped into a crude claw tool, perhaps to remove nails. Greetings. You've got interesting timing, coming here right when our enemy arrives. Jacob says you're no thief, and his word is law. Jacob, helicopters are headed your way. Get here as fast as you can. Get behind the barricades. Move. Where is the divine source? Tell me! Stop! Don't hurt anyone else! Where is it? Wait! Wait! There's a map. The Atlas. It will show you the way. Okay. Tell me about this Atlas. Hey. <laughs> Should have killed her. You have nothing to show for your efforts. Perhaps she'll succeed where you're failing. I will not fail. Trinity will step in if you do. And you know what that means? I'm expendable. They have no interest in my survival. I need the power of the source. <coughs> 
will. Have it. Don't lose faith, Anna. This is God's will. Our success is inevitable. Please, just find it. My time is running out. sins you have forced me to commit, they must have a purpose. Only you can show me the way. Grant me strength to continue for her, for you, for Trinity. Please, show me the way. Stay with me. I'm sorry. Your people don't deserve this. It is our chosen path. Our duty. It's never been easy. I understand what it's like to lose people. Trinity won't stop, will they? I doubt it. They have many resources. And the Atlas? It's an ancient map to the old city. The Trinity won't find it at that tower. Many of my people live in those ruins. They won't be prepared for what's coming. I can help them, Jacob. Will you do this for us? Or for that which you seek? Right now, they're one and the same. I'll be back with reinforcements after I've tended to the wounded. Yes. I need bandages. What is it? Stop, We're in bad shape, Jacob. The attack left us in shambles, and we have no one to send to the Acropolis. I know. I'll see to the wounded here. We have to get them to someplace safe. When that's done, We'll gather anyone still able to fight. Sophia will hold them off until we can arrive. I hope to God you're right. I'll send a runner when we're ready. Are you sure you won't come with me? I could use your help. We lost too many here. I need to get the wounded to safety. But when we're ready, we'll be right behind you. Your people are lucky to have you. How do you feel? Like a deer on a spit. Ah, it hurts to breathe. The bleeding has stopped. We'll get you medicine soon. Are you comfortable? As much as I can be. Be strong. You're going to live. Thank you. What am I gonna find up there, Jacob? It was once a fortress. But like everything, it's fallen into ruin. Many of my people live up there. And they have no idea what's coming. They tell me you were brave today. We had no choice, did we? You could have run. You chose to stay and fight. That is no choice at all. We are not cowards. Hmm. Can you move your feet? Good. Stay warm. Someone will see you soon. I can wait. If there are others that need that medicine more. Let us be the judge of that. And you, 
How are you? Damn. Be with God, my friend. The Lord is your guardian, your protective shade at your right hand. The sun shall not harm you by day, nor moon by night. The Lord guard your soul from all evil. The Lord guard your going and coming, from now to all time. I still can't see straight. Everything's blurry. That's to be expected with a blow to the head. But it... it will get better, right? What did the physician say? Barely. You're a little unsteady on your feet. Will they be back? You'll have to ask them that. I can't say. And you two? Are you hurt? I took a round to my leg, but it's clean. I can wait. Is... is that you, Jacob? She took a jolt to the head, but she's lucid. I'm keeping an eye on her. All right. Watch his pupils. Don't let him nod off until we can look at him. Of course. How are you feeling? Is there anything I can do? Hold still. No. We're just waiting to see the physicians. Uh, who is that? I don't recognize. Just let me do the talking. Hello. You fought like the devil out there. You've done this before. I guess I have. Here. I think these rounds will do more good in your hands. Hello. Looks like we were wrong to doubt you. We're honored to have you fight alongside us. Take these shells if you're going after them. Put them where it will hurt. Where is your father? Why is his apprentice pulling bullets out of me? He was at the Acropolis Tower before the fight. I don't know now. I can't say it for long. Oh. is too severe. What are you... I'm sorry. What are you saying? So I have to cut it off. I'm sorry. They'll be safe. No! Nothing we can do for me. No, them. you can't! It's up to them now. You're not taking my leg! You will not! I'm no help if I can't fight! Then you will die, do you hear me? Your leg will rot and it will kill you. Do you want that? Don't take my leg. Please. I won't let you. I'd, I'd rather die. I can't, you know that. The Prophet has a plan for all of us. Rest. We'll bring some water from the river for you soon. Do you need any help? Most of these men would be dead if you hadn't joined us. We owe you a great debt. Hmm. They tell me you have interest in the past, before hey, the fall. There's something on the desk over there that may interest you. Good. It has been months since the snows of the mountain buried the heart of Katesh. We sent men to search for survivors or food, but none have returned. Sounds drift up from the glaciers, but if people still lived entombed inside, I do not know. It could be the shifting ice, but I will be the first to admit, it sounds like the voices of men. Perhaps the ghosts of the Prophet's warriors still patrol the frozen streets. We will send no more of our people inside. We have to accept that the Prophet, and the city, are lost to us, and that we are now on our own. Quiet for a moment. I need to listen to your breathing. I guess I should be going then. Be careful up there. You've been a great help to us. And I don't want to lose you. I will. Looks like you've got things under control here. I saw you in the battle. I'm glad you're with us. Here, we pulled these off the corpses. They won't be needing them. Is there anything I can do? No, not now. We have to get ready to move the wounded. We found these supplies with the invaders. It's not much, but... We'll bring some more.
get to you soon. Some kind of burial chamber. A basket made of silver. Certainly meant to be decorative, but someone's been using it to carry grain. Someone broke into this place in the dead of night. They filled their pockets with coin, turned over urns of oil and wine, and saw fit to show disrespect to all that are interred here. It shreds my heart to think that one of our own could be so callous as to desecrate this place, all for a momentary earthly gain. We must find a way to keep this place safe, even from our own brothers.
ferryman. We may be far from our home, but that does not make us barbarians. When our loved ones pass on, as far too many have this season, we treat them with respect. When we did not yet have a vineyard to produce wine, we washed the dead with lake water. When we lacked the looms to spin the death shroud, we wrapped our departed in skins and hides. We carried few coins with us, but now we forge our own so that our blessed dead can pay passage to the next world. I only wish that the price was not so high. Interesting. Did they embalm their dead? golden chalice fit for a king or a prophet. It was made here in Katash.
I wish you could see the view from my tent, Lara. The dig looks so beautiful in the early evening, when the last embers of the sunlight dying upon a good day's work. Then, one by one, the fires are lit, and the smell of roasting meat wafts across the camp. They tell me that it's guinea pig. I declined it. Roth ate too. Maybe next time I'll bring you out here too. How did your history test go? Those were my happiest memories, Dad. Being out on the digs with you. Especially when you gave me my own little plot to excavate. I liked that. Feeling that I was part of something important. I aced that test, by the way. Now I see. It speaks of something hidden. Thank you.